What is it? Is that the one you want? Yeah. <laughs> he just pulled that off of there. Is that the one you want? Yeah. yeah that's that's okay. going to last 20 minutes, but it's okay. Okay, we'll, we can have it. <laughs> Take it to the lady. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all right. Um, so it's Saturday. The washing machine is on. The tumble dryer is on. The kitchen's been cleaned. We've been on a dog walk. Um, the living room's been cleaned. Brad's just eating some cereal because we've not ate yet. And I'm just going about to make. I'm just going about. Okay. I'm just going about. I'm just about to make some pancake mixture because I fancy. Some pancakes. Um. So we went to the pet shop and we got Chai, well Chai picked some out and we're letting him pick which one he's having because some of them are going for Christmas. What are you going to have? What are you going to pick? You get to pick one for now. Okay, pick one. Okay. Oh, we'll let him, let him assess the situation. I think he's very weird. <laughs> he loves his balls. <laughs> Do you want me to take it out of the packet then? He's like, no, I like this. This is the best part. What was you doing? Was you just chilling, sat looking out the window? Getting some fresh air. Why does Auntie always ride Hi. I'm wrapping my niece's birthday presents whilst listening to Christmas music. <laughs> oh my god, I'm psychic. I just know the album that much that I know what song is next. I. <laughs> when he licks his tongue just sometimes stays and he just keeps it there in one position sometimes don't you mid lick you'll just keep it out and just listen whilst he's paused he's like mom stop talking about me <laughs> stop talking about me mummy <laughs> So I did vlog a little bit yesterday, um, but when I say a little bit, ooh, I mean a little bit. Oh, my hair's a little bit wet. I just put some dry shampoo in um, because I didn't want to wash it yet. Um, but it's Sunday um, and we are going to Asda to get a few bits um, and then we're going to go to my mum's and take my stepdad's um, birthday present and his card. And then I'm also going to drop my niece's um, presents off because they was on a holiday when it was her birthday. Chai's having a twirl in the kitchen with daddy. Um, still got some washing to do, but it's the weekend, um, although it is nearly over. It's Sunday and I, I always feel sad on a Sunday because it means it's Monday tomorrow. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to go. I'm not sure what else we've got planned, but I'm sure I'll bring you along all of the way. So yeah. Hey 
<laughs> I don't know who they could be for. There's the box harper. Oh, I've already told off what's in here, haven't I? It's poo. It's poo. It's And I thought she, I thought, she, I thought she could eat it. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday. Have a wonderful day. Yeah. Love you so, so much. As always, Auntie Derek. Yeah. I've got that. Oh, I'll pass. And it's beef shit. Oh, I'm going to do it. It's cooked bread. Did you make your cooker? Earl has. Earl. Wow. Ooh, what's this? Well, you've had in the same time. Yeah. And that heat is on the Oh, what is it? Oh. Wow. Don't I said dog. it wasn't dressed. Oh, oh, oh the dog's jumped up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I like that. that. Oh, oh, wow. How beautiful. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that. This is the pill. Oh, we've got the pill. Oh, no, we can use Look at the hair braid. So you put the scarf in it and it makes your hair oh. shine. So it's so here like bedazzler thing, so you oh. stamp crystals and um, diamonds onto your hair. You can. Oh wow, Opa's bedazzling my hair. Look at that and show show yours. Opa. Look at your diamonds you like in your hair. You're like the jazzy diamond, aren't you? Oh. Where did you get them from? It's Harper's birthday present. It's a banana. Hey, guess who Forrest beat yesterday? No, Yeah? Mm. Happy birthday. Goal scorer. Best goal scorer could be Ronaldo. Can I be poor? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Who's your best friend? <laughs> We're back from my mum's house um, and I'm just going to go and put up. So we got some pumpkins and I'm going to put them um, outside of the house. We didn't get loads and loads, um, but I'm going to put them outside and I might put the boo um, thing in it just because now... Well, technically tomorrow we're a week away from Halloween, so I think I can get into the Halloween spirit for a week. Maybe I'm not going to put all my other things up just yet. I'm going to wait until midweek. Maybe, maybe I'll put them up today. I don't know, but I'm going to put the pumpkins out right now. This is what we're working with. Um, ignore the Aldi bag. I'm even going to put a squash out just to get into the whole theme, and that's a type of squash. I don't know actually. No. Either way, it's going out there. So I'm thinking, I'm probably thinking the big one here. Yeah. Because I don't feel like it'd fit very well there. And then just one random one there. That's what I did last year, I think, you know. Uh, I, really I did a couple last year there. What do we think? Does that look a bit better? Yeah, I thought it looks cool. What, like that now? Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's cute. Do you think? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Awesome in our house. Is it? That's what I was thinking the car, I think. Oh, okay. So I bought some camembert. Really, really, really does stink. So I don't know if you've ever been, if you're from England, you might have, been to Miller and Carter. So it is a steakhouse. But every time I go, obviously, I'm um, pescatarian. So I eat seafood. I've... <laughs> I want to be in a gannet, I was going to make a million in a short Oh, right. <laughs> I bought three Galaxy Bars, but it's not because I'm just going to eat three Galaxy Bars, it's because... You could have to be... Oh, for sure. I could eat four. I could eat five. Really? I'd go after one. No, I think, I think probably three would be my limit of these ones. Yeah. I could definitely. I don't think I ever have, but... I wouldn't put it past me, but that camembert and really, really honks. So yeah, Miller and Carter, they do like um, this fish dish. Oh, fish dish. fish dish that I have. It's white fish with mash and well, mushroom. It's steak, steak, it? Hake, yeah. It's mushroom, wine, sauce. And I thought we've got mushrooms and we've got wine. I don't know if we've got, have we got any white wine. If not, we could use red. But it's mushroom wine sauce on this fish. We've got, with, we've got this, what is this? I don't actually know. Um, but then with spring onion or green onion if you're from America. Is that spring onion? Is, is green onion in America? Yeah, they've got the green onion. Yeah, spring onion. 
um, over the pond. <laughs> um, so yeah, so, and then we do a side where they do a camembert mash. Oh my gosh, so it's basically mash and then they put it, it under the grill with camembert on. Hence the smelly camembert. Um, and well. it really does, I thought something had died in my car on the way back. I was like, my car really smells. And then also they do this um, garlic prawns. So I thought we could do garlic prawns, some camembert mash, some to go underneath the fish or extra. Oh, you see me now. And then would you like any? And then we need to do that white wine or wine mushroom so sauce. Like the, the white wine mushroom. Yeah, to go over the top. So we're going to try and recreate um, the Miller and Carter. I can do this for you. I, I've got full capability. Oh, I trust that you are. Same, I trust. And I also bought from Go On Out some soft cheese, just co-op's version. Because uh, do you know soft cheese? It, this was one pound eighty, mm -hmm. right? Which I still think's a lot of money for just that amount, right? For the camp, uh, the co-op one, the the not co-op one, the actual brand. They're like £2.50 or something like that. Yeah. And I just think, it's probably made in the same factory. Why would you spend? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We've had this, um, we've had this wine in our freeze, or wine fridge. Oh, it must be an iceberg. Look at the divot on that. Mm. So we've always been told that if it's a good wine, the better the wine, the deeper the divot in the head. Is that true? Where I don't know if that's from? true. Is, yeah, is it true? So it's basically the deeper the divot is so that the, the people can pour it like that. Yeah, so it one under. So it one under. I mean, I would struggle because... That's good. Yeah, I mean, I'm not very... Um, well, many tries it away. But it's been in the wine fridge for months. And I just, I didn't know if someone bought it or us. Or if I don't think you did come. I can't remember buying this though because I don't like white wine. We are We are not one baby. Google how to decork a wine bottle. Of all the bloody utensils in the house, we haven't got a sodding I thought that. decorker. Let's see how we can do it without. I just don't want it to um Half it cork to end up in wine. Right, which one do you think? That one or that one? The big one. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Would you not do it like this? Does it look like I do it like that? I don't know. I mean, I'm very weak anyway. Do you want another go? Bye! Yeah! Nice light there. I'm going to do it deeper. Yeah, we're going to get started though. Facials on this. Got it? I can just imagine the facials. <laughs> Yay! Woo! Good job, girl. Thank you. Mmm, smells nice. But at the same time, white wine's quite traumatic, isn't it? White wine's quite traumatic. Because sometimes I think it's, it smells a bit like sick. You know when, have you ever been sick after drinking wine? No. But I have drank some wine before when I've like, do you know when you've been sick and it's a bit like, like... It's very acidic. Like, just stomach acid. Yeah. Right, let's see. So this is a shard. Shard are they? Okay. Oh, it makes your tabs laugh. Yeah. Right, this is what, what we're supposed to do. You're supposed to wiggle it around. Turn on the side. You're supposed to see if it sticks to the glass. It does actually a little bit. And then you're supposed to slow it on you. Suck it through your teeth. Just to aerate it. 
It's much better once it's aerated, but I can't do that ever so. No, that's how you do it to taste it. Right? It's not bad. I'm definitely a red wine girl. Yeah, it's not bad. My face and the shivers on my arm says otherwise. <laughs> I've got goosebumps on my fucking arms. Brad, look at my arms. That's how good it is. That's literally. It's because it's just very um, tart. Is that the right word? Very. It, it tastes like sick. After, after you've drank, so I think like, I'm not a very big drinker anyway. And the reason I'm not a very big drinker is because Your body knows my body just does not love it. The right reaction to Well, it. alcohol is literally poison into it when you think about it. Yeah. But when yeah. I do drink, like I can have a few cocktails, like I love a good cocktail. But like, if I, um, if I get drunk, then um Brandy off work before that. No, I'm not. I'm just the next day I am ill, like can you die from my hangover kind of ill. Yeah, like is it possible? Yes. <laughs> like just honestly I mean I don't it stops me for about I don't really drink very often do I? No. It puts me off that much, that's how like ill I get. It's not worth it kind of thing but i love a glass of wine like red wine and i love a few cocktails and i like getting merry but any like any far past merry once i get to the any drunk, far past any any further past <laughs> any further past merry if i am drunk good luck because that anger the next day it's gonna be torturous um but to me this tastes a bit like Sick. Have you told, you told everyone about the van? Oh yeah. And yeah, I don't think I like it. It took me a, a few sips to figure it out and... Do you think that's going to be the potatoes in there? I was saying, I'm really glad Brad can cook. I like cooking, Brad likes cooking. So it's quite nice that we know that we can take it in turns or we can cook together or like right now Brad just was like I can cook this really well so I'm just leaving it to it because I think No, I think I can Oh, I, I know you're about to do this, just this um, But I was just saying if you couldn't cook it would give me the ick You want one? Mm. Like I think it'd be a bit of a turn off because I think I'd feel like your mum if you couldn't cook and I just feel like I want to be your girlfriend and your fiance and your wife not your mum. Dad mom. can cook though. Oh no I don't mean I feel like your mum. No. I don't feel like your actual mother. I don't feel like I feel like Joanne. I feel like like as a, in a relationship as a female, oh. if you couldn't cook, I would feel like your mother, mm. not not your actual mum. A life update. Um, do you want to tell them, Brad, what's happened? What are you saying? Sold my van. Sold his van. Sold it. Gone. So, the plan of attack is, sorry guys, I can't hold this. He's still on the phone, by the way, although we're ordered the camera today. So the next vlog should be back on a camera. So you should be able to hear me better, see me better, better quality, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so the plan of attack is get a different car, because I'm my car. Is this to go through the match? No, fry it separately, put it on top. Do you like that? I mean, I've got chocolate in my mouth, so. Do you think it tastes a bit like? It tastes okay though. Do you know what I mean when I say it tastes a bit like sick? Yeah, but 
It's because it's acidic. Mm. It's nicer. Mm. Not my favourite white wine, but. What? Chai has yogurt up his nose from licking the spoon, but I thought I'd show you his food. So, this is chicken um, mince. He's got an egg, he's got a little bit of eggshell, he's got some Greek yogurt, he's got a few blueberries, he's got two um, green beans, whatever they are, and a little bit of spinach. And inside the meat, I put a little bit of olive oil, some of this seed mix that we do. So this has got chia seeds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, and flax seed. And then I give him a little bit of sprinkling of this, which has got turmeric, ginger, cinnamon, and a little bit of black pepper um, to activate the turmeric. And then he's also got a sprinkling of this protein, which is mealworm, I believe. Yeah, mealworm. Um, so that's in the meat, all mixed up with a little bit of water. And then I pour everything else on top. Um, and I think this is how he's got his very shiny coat. So in the morning, he doesn't have this. He has half a block of the minced meat, which is either turkey, fish or chicken with biscuits. Um, but then his evening meal, we go a little bit fancier. Um, his morning meal is just biscuits, meat and a bit of water to make it a little bit hydrated. Um, and then sometimes, not just recently because the co-op haven't been selling it, um, but we usually give him after his meal a little splash of goat's milk with his evening meal. Um, and he absolutely loves it. Um, but this is how we've got such a healthy boy, I think, isn't it? And a shiny coat with yoghurt on your forehead and up his nose. <laughs> He's also very obedient and only eats when we tell him to the, the release word, which is... Um, okay. Okay. And he absolutely loves his food. Oh, he's gone for the egg first. He does that sometimes. Sometimes he goes for yoghurt, doesn't he? Yeah, well, a lot of the time it's yoghurt. And voila, so we have good old creamy mash with white fish, mushroom and white wine sauce, um, spring onions, Camembert mash, so we literally it's the same mash, but then we just roasted under the grill with some um, camembert on top, garlic prawns, and some red wine. How delicious does this look? I don't think this is well done, darling. You did really well. Thanks. You're a good chef, you are. Well, you did take over the last time. Yeah, but I didn't really do that much, did I? I just did the camembert mash. Well, you put some camembert. Mm. What? That's not yours, that's daddy's. You've had your dinner. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Hey. The kitchen is clean. It's all clean and tidy. And the um, dishwasher actually is done now, so it needs emptying. I'm just gonna let it steam for a little bit and dry. We've got the last load of washing in the washing machine. Um, just need a couple more and then we'll dry up. It's so hot in here. Um, I've got a glass of water. I'll just take this plug off. Um, so it's time to chill. We've got one episode. What the hell? <laughs> For goodness. So I'll just find him with my blooming bra. So my bra needs to go back upstairs. <laughs> but as I was saying, we've been watching The Watcher. Um, it's really good it's weird because it's on it's based on a true story um of our house it's just it's new on netflix your ball brad's just in the shower uh, but yeah it's really good we've not i think we're on the second to last episode or maybe the last episode i'm excited to see how it ends i've been told that the ending isn't that good so hopefully it ends on something good but it's based on a true story, so it's just a bit weird, honestly. There's some weird people about, like, scary weird. Not not bridey weird, like, I mean, like, scary, sneak into your house weird. Do you know what I mean? So I definitely recommend watching it. I was, I was expecting it to be on, like, um, ghosts and things, um, but it's not. It's not about ghosts, it's real people, because I don't really love things about, like, ghosts and all of that because they play on my mind too much and then I have dreams about them whereas I can deal with this because it's creepy but it's like I know that this house is fine do you know what I mean so I can't relate if that makes sense um but yeah we've got one last episode to watch on that um and then we'll just be chilling so tonight it's literally like 
eight o'clock now, maybe. Uh, I didn't look at the time when I came back in, but when we finished eating, it was like five to seven. Um, but it's, it's been a nice chilled weekend, that's for sure. It's not been dead entertaining in terms of the vlogs. We've not done anything like that DIY or any like, we've not been out for the day or anything really, but it's just sometimes life is just in the house and not doing very much, is it? Um, and I, I want to just show you my life. So I'm just showing you some weekends. Don't do that much. Not always doing DIY, not always out and about. Some weekends we're just chilling. Um, but of course I always like to bring you along just so you know just because I, I enjoy doing it and I hope that you enjoy watching it. Um, but let me know what you've done this weekend. Um, see if you've been more productive than me, got more done um, than what, than what I've, oh, I've done about 10 loads of washing. I don't, I say it every time, but I don't know how we make so much washing, just a week, a week's worth and I've had like five loads more. I suppose it's because I've washed some blankets and that. And I like to keep the blankets because we put blankets on the bottom of the sofa. Um, just because I like, I don't want the sofas to be dirty or stained or anything. Thank you. Um, ready? And chai, chai is willy juice and bum juice. I don't know what it is. And then just, just his footprints. I don't want them on the sofa. So we need to get some new blankets actually that actually go with the sofas and match a little bit better but um i just basically change them over weekly because i want them to be nice and fresh um so i've washed all of them i washed the big fluffy um, one that i put on me when i'm chilling on the sofa i washed the blanket that we put on our bed so our bed don't get dirty the only thing that i didn't get managed to wash is the bed sheets so that's going to be a weekday thing into an effort changing the bed changing the bed and the sheets and that I do like to do it every week though, because it's just fresh, isn't it? So, how often do you change the bed? Like the sheets and the quilt cover, how often do you wash and change them? Because I know some people do it for a week and then some people do it for two. Sometimes I leave it for two if I don't get chance. And if we've not had a particular like, I, I'm a shower before bed person and so is Brad. So like when every time we get in bed, we are clean. Do you know what I mean? We're not getting into bed dirty and then showering in the morning. So sometimes it's two weeks, and some, but I prefer it to be weekly because there's nothing worse. Like, no, there's nothing better than on a Sunday night getting into clean bed and knowing you've got work in the morning, but it's just like all like fresh and clean. Um, I do love that feeling. I used to love that feeling as well. Like growing up, I never knew if my mum washed my bedding or anything. Um, or maybe I did, I can't remember, but I can remember getting in bed and going like, oh, she's cleaned my, my sheets, she's cleaned my quilt. And it just smelled and just felt really fresh and nice. So I love that feeling still to this day. But sometimes life, life's busy, isn't it? <laughs> but let me know how often you clean yours. You might go longer than two weeks. I personally wouldn't want to go longer than two weeks just because Brad's a sweater when he sleeps. So I like a fresh, do you know what I mean? But now let me know what you do.